What's going on, good people? This is Terrence with Southern Gentlemen's Table TV. Uh, if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe to the page. Today, we are going to do a shrimp po' boy, one of my favorites. All right, and so quick, just quick history on po' boys. It started in like the early 1920s in New Orleans when they were having the streetcar. Um, uh, oh, uh, I'm, I'm losing my train of thought. They were having a strike. I'm sorry, they having a strike. The streetcar driver was having a strike. And so these two brothers decided, since they had guys who weren't working, to put to get with the local uh, chef and start putting together poor boy sandwiches. They had roast beef and shrimp and, and all that. So they used like old French bread and uh, and they would make it so that's how it became popular, all right? So it's just a little brief history. So I have fresh made French bread rolls. So first thing first, I'm just gonna cut that down in half. You could probably get another, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it down in half. We'll make two really nice size sandwiches. That way we can just prepare those. So I'm just gonna prep that now. And that's gonna be a nice sound. I'm just gonna put these to the side for right now, all right? All right, now, right now I got my shrimp over here. I got them marinating in just some hot sauce. They are already peeled, deveined, golf size shrimp, all right? They're already clean and all that good stuff. So now I'm getting ready to make the, the breaded. So in this bowl, I have a cup and a half of seasoned flour. Uh, I have a half a cup of cornstarch, and then I have right here a cup and a half of club soda. Now, why those three recipes? So the, the seasoned flour, you can find that in some of the local stores. Now, if you don't have it, I'm gonna also send you the recipe if you're just using regular flour, okay? If you're using regular flour and you need to know, well, what's the measurements on the seasoning? I'll send that to you. But this is already kind of has the seasoning already in it. So, so we're good to go. So the cornstarch, I use cornstarch because cornstarch gives your frying like an extra crispy texture. All right. The club soda, what it does, it kind of gives you a more light, airy style fry. So technically, if you look here, my batter is almost like a pancake batter. And that's what I'm looking for, okay? Uh, and, and don't get me wrong, you don't have to necessarily do it like this, but in my opinion, this makes a really good batter. Some people use beer if you want to do beer. I, I perfectly like to do the uh, club soda, all right? So, like I said, I got my shrimp here, and I'm gonna start throwing those bad boys in here. Kind of a little bit at a time. Oh, yeah, let's see. You want to kind of keep your, I'm just going to stir them up this way. There we go. Whenever you're frying, everybody knows, you don't know. When you're frying, you got to have what they call the dry hand and, 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 and the wet hand. You never want to use the same hand uh, when you your station. I'm, I'm stirring these up so they're coated. I want you to look at that right there. I'm coating these shrimp nice. They got that batter on them. All right. There we go, I love it. Love it. All right, All right. so now, I'm gonna come right back. So grease is almost ready. We're gonna go over here to the fryer. We're gonna go ahead and start frying these bad boys up so we see how they come out, all right? All right, so now listen, we got grease is ready. We're ready to go and start frying up some of these, these shrimp. Look at that right there. Oh yeah. Keep them separated. They're gonna fry up nice. Don't overcrowd the fry. If you got a deep fry, that's great, you know? Alright. 
Ain't gonna take long. Oh yeah. Yeah, they got a nice little crispy outer shell. Four minutes, and they're gonna be good to go. Then we're gonna fry up the last batch. All right, so when we come back after these last batch, when we get them all done, we're gonna come back together and let's put this sandwich together, all right? All right, folks, listen, we back to look. Check these shrimp out, man, they look amazing. And so I'm gonna tell you, so that batter, that technique, it gives you that batter if you're familiar like with Captain D's or Long John Silver's. It's crispy, it's airy, it's that type of batter. Don't get me wrong, you don't have to do it that way. If you like the old traditional way where you just use an egg wash, dip it in the flour and go, or you use like the cornmeal mix like you do for fried catfish, that's fine too. But I like them this way, it gives a different texture, a lot of body on the shrimp and makes the sandwich super full. And you'll see when we put it together, all right? So first thing first, what I'm gonna do is, I got my bread, but now I got some stuff over here because I want to make kind of like a, a, a rumelai. I'm gonna make one. So I got like a pre-made tartar sauce. I'm gonna put about a cup of that in here, okay? About a cup of that. We're gonna put Tablespoon of dried parsley. Okay. Yeah. Let's do let's do a tablespoon of hot sauce. Gotta get that good Louisiana. I know sometimes people it's always a debate about what's hot sauce. Some people say Frank's, you on the East Coast or Midwest, but down South, we think, you know, Frank's is buffalo, that's wing sauce, it's not hot sauce, but you know, to each his own. All right, catch up. We're gonna do two tablespoons of ketchup, okay? All right. Last but not least, you know, we got a little bit of seasoning, but I got some Slap Your Mama Cajun seasoning. We're gonna do like a teaspoon of that that we're gonna add right inside of this mix. All right, there it is. So now, we're gonna stir that up. Oh man, look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah, I'm telling you, that's gonna be good. All right, so now listen. You know what time it is now. It's time for us to all put this sandwich together. So listen, we got some lettuce, I got some tomato. So look over here what we gonna do. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna take that room a lot. I'm gonna put some, spread that on that bun. much as you like. I wanted to coat it though. I want you to get that flavor. All right. All right. Then, we're gonna put that lettuce in there. And also, by the way, for those who are wondering, yes, I did wash my hands. I don't play around with that. I wash my hands as I go, so trust and believe. I'm not trying to make anybody sick. All right, we're gonna put some tomatoes over here. See that right there? 
Now, here we go. Look at this. Ooh, yeah, listen. And when you know when you're serving it up, man, you got to give the people what they want. Look at that right there. Now tell me that's not a poke boy right there. Yeah, so you know we got to taste it though. Ooh, let's see. Mmm. That's it. 